ASHTO T248 and ASTM C702 are the standard practice for reducing field samples to testing size. This practice covers three separate procedures. Method A is using a mechanical splitter. Method B is quartering. And method C is miniature stockpiling. It is the purpose of this practice to describe procedures that will reduce larger field samples to a convenient testing size in a manner which makes the testing sample representative of the larger sample and hopefully of the entire aggregate supply. That is because, generally speaking, larger samples are more representative of the aggregate supply than smaller samples. Therefore, if the procedures described in ASHTO T248 and ASTM C702 are not followed, the result may be a non-representative testing sample. However, in some circumstances, differences between test samples cannot be avoided. As an example, when the sample contains relatively few larger particles. The laws of chance state that these larger particles may not be evenly distributed throughout the sample. Therefore, there are some instances where it is recommended that the entire field sample be tested. As an example, if the sample is being tested for contaminants that may be present in relatively few particles. Let's now review method A using a mechanical splitter. A mechanical splitter should consist of chutes, holding receptacles, hoppers, and straight edge pans. Fine aggregate mechanical splitters shall have a minimum of 12 equally wide chutes, while coarse aggregate mechanical splitters shall have a minimum of 8 equally wide chutes. Each chute should be approximately 50% larger than the maximum aggregate size in the sample to be split. If reducing fine dry aggregate, then method A must be used. If the sample is wet or damp, it must be dried before using this procedure. Let's now go through the performance review of method A using a mechanical splitter for ASHTO T248 and ASTM C702. First, we must check the moisture condition of the sample. If the sample contains any surface moisture, it must be dried to at least the saturated surface dry condition. Before placing the sample into the hopper, check the mechanical splitter for the appropriate number of shoots and shoot opening widths. Remember, for fine aggregate we must have a minimum of 12 shoots and for coarse aggregate a minimum of 8 shoots and each shoot should be approximately 50% larger than the maximum size aggregate for the sample which we are splitting. Now place the sample in the hopper and uniformly distribute the sample edge to edge. After placing the sample in the hopper, we want to open the hopper. However, we only want to open the hopper wide enough that the rate at which the sample is introduced into the chutes shall be such that it allows free flowing of the aggregate into the receptacles or straight edge pans. These steps are now repeated until the field sample has been reduced to the appropriate testing size. Let's now review method B, quartering a sample. Unlike method A, when method B is used, some surface moisture should be present on the field sample. Let's now go through the performance review of method B, quartering a sample. After checking the floor for evenness, place the sample on a hard, clean surface. Once the sample has been placed, we want to recombine the sample 
and then form it into a conical pile. Now, carefully flatten the conical pile by pressing down on the apex of the cone. When finished, our sample should be in a circular shape of even thickness throughout. After flattening the conical pile into a circle, we want to split the sample into four equal quarters. Now, remove two quarters which are diagonally opposite each other and recombine the other two quarters. We want to repeat this process until our field sample has been reduced to the appropriate testing size. If the floor is uneven, then we have an alternative method for quartering using a canvas blanket. This alternative procedure can be found in AASHTO T248 in section 10.1.2. Let's now review method C, miniature stockpiling. Method C is for fine damp aggregate only. However, like method B, some surface moisture must be present on the sample. Let's now review method C, miniature stockpiling. The sample should be placed on a hard, clean surface. Select a location where there will be no loss of material and no chance of contaminating the field sample. Then, the sample can be recombined and once recombined, formed into a conical pile. If desired, flatten the pile by pressing down on the apex to a uniform thickness and diameter, and then obtain the test sample by selecting at least five increments from the pile for each test that is to be performed. And there are no significant differences between AASHTO T248 and ASTM C702. And this will conclude AASHTO T248 and ASTM C702 standard practice for reducing field samples to testing size.